Damn, street arrow. Okay, I see you. I know everybody thinks you're dead. This my this my shit. Oh, tell her you're not my bitch. This my this my shit. Oh, tell her get off my dick. Digi dash, nitro gas. Time is passing quick, 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 quick. I just want tonight to last. Life go fast. It tick, 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 tick. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have two things that we're gonna be taking care of today. One is that previously, whenever we installed the Corsa exhaust on the back, which by the way, thank you Corsa, I really appreciate it. This exhaust has been awesome so far. We're gonna be working on the rear of the car today, straightening up this exhaust because whenever I had installed it previously, afterwards I had noticed that the right side was actually sagging about an extra inch compared to the left side. So we're gonna be fixing that and then on top, of straightening the exhaust. So here we have a rear diffuser for Payday that is from Street Arrow, which by the way, thank you Street Arrow for sending this over. This is like one thing that I think almost every car is missing because from the back of the car, especially on the 18 Mustangs, they really did dress it up with this factory diffuser right here. But the only bad thing about it is that from the side, there's not really much of a, uh, any sort of profile to it. To fix that, this is gonna get the job done. So anyways, let's go ahead and slap a GoPro on and we'll get this thing open. All right, let's get this thing open. I have no idea what the assembly of this is gonna be like. I just know what the finished product looks like and it's pretty sick. Oh shit, you're working on a Porsche? Changing the bulbs. Oh. Where'd you get the LEDs from? Would it happen to be the retrofit source? Actually, if it's not, don't answer that because I'm just gonna plug the code anyways. You guys can use code Zorby at the retro, is it the retrofit source? No, but I wish it was now. Oh, well shit. You guys can use the code Zorby on the retrofitsource.com to get any awesome Morimoto products. We're gonna act like those are Morimoto and yeah. you guys can get free, <laughs> you guys can get free upgraded ground shipping on everything as long as you use my code. Oh wow, this is actually really nice. Very nice packaging though. I'm, I like this. Everything is individually wrapped and then also individually wrapped again. Oh, we got some more pieces. Oh, shit. And another one. Okay. So we got all of that. So before we do this, first thing we need to do is just go ahead, straighten up that exhaust, so that way I'm not battling for space, which I don't think it would be an issue, but might as well go ahead and knock that out first. Hey Nick, can you hand me a light on the side of the toolbox? Please, on the right side? One of those? Yeah, thanks man. Absolutely, Doc. Fast as fuck, boy. So now we gotta get upside down to loosen this. This is about to be fucking loud. Lift it up a lot and tighten it back down. It's a little better. Now I can straighten out the tips a little bit. Tips are a little bit crooked. And it's a little better. So now we can go ahead and start installing this diffuser. Oh, I'm excited. This is the beginning of the Mustang mods because I've actually got a good bit of stuff coming in from a little company called Parker Performance. They've already actually sent a clutch return spring for the pedal, but they're actually, they got a few other goodies that I'm not gonna mention yet that are already on the way. What are you doing? I am painting a tow hook cap. A tow hook cap? You're painting it? Well, yeah, this is Porsche touch up paint. I'm gonna paint it and then just do like a clear coat over it and pop that cap back in. That's pretty cool. Let's get started on this diffuser. Every diffuser install may slightly vary. These directions will still provide an accurate guideline on how to install your diffuser on your vehicle. Remove contents from the package. Got it. Paint smells really good. Yeah, that smells great, doesn't it? You gotta smell it a few times though before it really starts like start noticing. Resonating. Oh, Oh yeah, let's have a friend hold the diffuser in place. Nick, I'm gonna need you later. Have a friend hold the diffuser in place or you can use a jack, Never mind, I don't need you, to have it pressed firmly against the bottom of your bumper. Check to make sure everything is lined up correctly. We recommend referring to the photos on our website to help clarify where the diffuser should be placed. You will drill the holes while your diffuser is still pressed against the bottom of your bumper. You can find where to drill your holes by finding the best contact points as to where your diffuser makes the best contact with your bumper. Cool. 
So apparently you just put this shit together and then just put it, put it on the car and it's like that simple. The instructions make it sound easy, but I tend to have a really hard time with pretty much anything I do. So we'll see how this goes. So this is, all. oh, we got a lot of stickers. One, two, ah, so they're numbered. So I assume one, number two, number three, and number four going from left to right. So that way all of the hardware is on the inside. And then we got these, which go somewhere. I don't know where these go. I think these actually go on this. So we will slip that onto this, put this one on, tighten this down a little bit. And now we got this one. And there's no thread, so you don't have to worry about it being cross thread either. It just makes its own threads. Ooh, this bitch gonna look mean. The final one, what? What I did. <sighs> Whoa, that's cool. Now we'll get everything tight. And now we can go ahead and put the nuts on the top of it. Damn, street arrow. Okay, I see you. All right, and those are all tight. And this is cool. This is actually something that you can get by itself. You don't have to get the additional pieces because it comes in options. I just opted in to get the additional pieces. So that's going to end up going like right there. That's going to be pretty cool. I lost my phone. You trying to Google it? Yeah, I was going to look up a picture just to do it. Well, the driver's side is the one you're driving. Nick, if you don't get your ugly ass out of my video, I don't know where I put it. Maybe it's in the car. It's in the, it's in the car. I believe they go like this. And then these, since this is the passenger side, I believe go like this. Not bad. So we got to drill some holes. We got that. And then we also got some self tappers. I don't know where the self tappers go. I don't think it tells you where anything goes. It just says to, to be careful. So it's actually going to end up mounting on the bottom of these right here the little parts of the factory diffuser and it's actually going to come out quite a bit i have made my decision we are just going to use the self tappers to start with for now we're going to get everything mounted up in place and then later on if i had decided to do so then we'll take the self tappers out and we'll replace them with these i think uh i think i got it all right it's still in place yep yeah Yep. right Fuck. Okay, so it's still in place? Yep. All right, no going back. Now we gotta do the middle. I'll just use a, a knee to hold it in place. Cool, now that's mounted. Oh, I don't think this piece is going to come off. It's like flexing. It's flexing the entire bumper. So that shouldn't come off. It's a little bit flimsy. Not bad, but it is attached to plastic. I mean, yeah, you see what it's doing. It's pulling the entire bumper. That is not going to come off. That looks like that is a completely installed rear diffuser. Damn, Payday got a diffuser before Zoe did. need like another inch yeah it's just kind of like ah fuck okay. You're on it. i'm on it here we go now i'm good all right now let's pull this thing out and see what it looks like That's not bad. So we finally got the diffuser installed. And Payday 
as a whole is definitely coming together. It's still a stock car, of course. It's got stock everything except for a Corsa Sport catback exhaust, the Morimoto headlights, which look amazing. Well, we can't forget the one inch wheel spacers. And we now have a rear diffuser on the car, which I think kind of pulls it all together pretty well. So we got a little bit on the front, a little bit on the back. It's making progress. It's a good start. So I think we're done for this car. Thank you, Street Arrow, for the diffuser. Now, one thing I haven't mentioned yet is that we are about to take Zoe out on a little bit of a, a shakedown because we have autocross tomorrow. Zoe, at the last event, was only running on three pounds of boost. And I didn't even realize it last time because we had a boost leak that I didn't know about it until we brought it to the dyno. Tomorrow is gonna be the first time that the car is at autocross, fully tuned, making full power. It's not gonna have a boost leak, theoretically, because I did already find it and fix it. So we're gonna take it for a drive and uh, we're gonna see if the car breaks pretty much because I don't want to drive all the way out there and have the car break for me beating on it. So I gotta make sure the car's reliable, right? So anyways, let's get to it. Before we go, of course, Gotta make sure the hood's closed. We're gonna be taking this car out. Uh, should I put the silencer in or leave the silencer out? Well, I don't know. Do you wanna do race car shit or not? Kind of. Okay, we'll leave it out. All right, leaving it out. All right, car's warmed up a little bit. Now we can go on low ride. God, it's always like... It's like a learning curve every single time you sit in this car because it's it's just so weird to drive. for me to just walk in and like be like hi oh they're blasting music no wonder they can't fucking hear me hello what? hello uh, oh well, no wonder you didn't hear me you were under the fucking car what's well, good that's daniel uh, what's up dude i didn't hear you but i thought that was my buddy in an m4 oh how are you doing Working on this thing. This is looking pretty cool. What's how you up? Been? Pretty good. Howdy, howdy. I saw you were here, so I was gonna stop by and see how you were doing. I'm starting this thing up today. Really? Yeah. Ooh, that's exciting. Last time you saw this thing was a V6 stock car. The last time so, I saw it, I don't even remember. Well, I don't even think I saw the this. I don't think I saw any of this in person. Really? I think I only saw it on your Snapchat, and besides that, I never got to see the car in person. Well, this is cool. Here freaking is. Yeah. But literally, I need to. That's gonna be cool. Finish putting the drive shaft in, which is what I was doing. I just got to tighten one more bolt. Put oil in it, put transmission fluid in it, wire a hard ground, a big gauge hard ground, mm -hmm. and then the car will, in theory, start up. Start up. That's pretty sick. So that doesn't even have an engine in it. No, this has a hole in it. So what is what is your plan for this one? Oh, you finally got the two of the oh, yeah, I've done fucking that. front end done and Long everything. Is that right. about, what the fuck is that? That's a bicycle that I welded an exhaust on. Huh. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think I'd be welding an exhaust on a bicycle anytime soon. <laughs> the world of YouTube. Yeah. Dude, I haven't even been to YouTube for the past few months. I've just been laying low. I know. Everybody thinks you're dead. Everybody 
Everybody's commenting on my uh, dude, on my shit, Snapchat. asking I about you. Tell everyone, follow my Snapchat. My Snapchat I've been posting this whole entire time. It's just like yeah. Two months from now, when this video goes up, if you still don't upload, everybody, <laughs> Poe is alive. He's right here. Am I recording? Yes, you are. Okay, cool. What are you up to? Nothing. I was just uh, I just got done working on uh, the Mustang, putting a new diffuser on it, and then to end the video, I was gonna take Zoe for a ride because we got autocross tomorrow, and I wanted to make sure the bitch didn't break. Hell yeah. So dude, I haven't seen this thing since you. <laughs> So it's got a uh, C2 Pro charger on it now. Did you did you by chance go that way? Yes, that was me that rev. You did that earlier. Yeah. Dude, this thing is sick. Yeah. So much stuff to it since last time I bought it. Going in so long, I know it's been running for a few months now, but I mean, yeah, it's been running for like, like half a year, damn near. Yeah, it's been running for I think maybe like a year at this point, almost a year uh, since I got this engine in. Mm -hmm. But uh, with the Pro Charger, I think it started running in like January, but it made 391 horsepower to Hell the wheel. Yeah. I'm still down to race whenever I get that car going. Well, yeah, You'll definitely. Win, but I mean, it'll be a deal. I'm down to take this car drifting and you should take your car to autocross whenever it's running. I'm down. <laughs> Bye, dude. See you later. too bad can't complain about that that looks pretty good here we go i guess that's it for this video time to put in the silencer and the exhaust so we can take it to autocross tomorrow sad. and that'll be it sad. sad oh well it'll be all right thank you guys for watching hopefully you enjoyed this video thank you street arrow for the diffuser on the mustang and uh next video we will be at autocross so see you guys then